So here's the thing about Jade West from Victorious. Don't follow me! So even though I made a video about Tori first, I did admit that Tori was not indeed my favorite character. And I can't believe I'm talking about this show again, but turns out that everyone was interested in it, because that was literally my most popular video ever. So you've probably guessed it by now, but my favorite character is actually Jade. Overall, she's just an amazing presence to have in the show, and she ages the material above a kid's program a lot, which makes it more fun to watch when you're as old as I am now. That's probably why I'm able to still find it pretty humorous as a 22-year-old man. Exhibit A, Elizabeth Gillies. Elizabeth fucking Gillies. I don't think it's controversial for me to say that this woman was thousands of people's gay awakenings. <laughs> The sheer amount of energy she exudes on this show is insane. Her voice matches perfectly with the character, and she sells every line. She's my favorite character because she's the strongest actor, honestly. Specifically, in episodes like Stage Fighting, Jade Dumps Beck, Walkstar, Jade Gets Crushed, Tori and Jade's Playdate, Opposite Date, and Tori Fixes Beck and Jade, where we get to see her more vulnerable side makes her the most textured character around. I love that she actually does become friends with Tori quickly, but keeps putting up walls, most likely because of her cold relationship with her parents, or because she has a crush on Tori. That's my personal theory. <laughs> the one time we meet her dad in Walkstar is very telling about her home life though. It's no wonder she has no idea the correct way to show affection to people. It isn't just Tori, either. She's often weirdly hostile with Beck and Kat, both of whom she obviously cares about immensely, and I think it's because of how she was raised that she's not able to express herself perfectly, but she does learn. And this is all because of the performance that Gillies gives. She makes the character lovable. She's the reason why this character was so well liked. If anyone else played her, it wouldn't have worked. I I fully believe that. Exhibit B. My opinion? She's the funniest on the show. Some of her jokes are just so next level and make me actually cry with laughter. She was the only one to make me howl out loud while I was watching the show. Her film that she showed Helen was so unsettling, and I remember as a younger lad, definitely scared the living shit out of me. Her humor is so above kids' humor, I don't understand why she's in a Nickelodeon show. Specifically, in the slap fight, oh my god, it's so fucking funny how her strategy is just to yell at people until they follow her. I don't know what else to say about it, but she's on a whole nother level this episode, and she made me laugh pretty much every line she had. I'll also mention that in season 4, they kind of just nail her character. They kick it off with that 8 inches joke in the premiere, which is... what? See how high this beam is from the floor. 8 inches. You let her measure it, please? Well? Eight inches. This show is definitely not for children. They wouldn't get half of the jokes, and they wouldn't get any of Jade's. Some of my other favorite clips include... Here. Thanks. I admire how you're never afraid to say what you think. That's stupid. See? They're bent! They've lost their sins! Yeah! Well, hello, boys. My name is Tora Vega. Buy me some licorice and I'll give you a kiss. What should I get, Trina? Talent. Exhibit C, development. She actually does have a lot of development across the series. It's pretty cool to watch and it's pretty impressive for a show like this to have because it's not the most well-written show. I think we can all admit that. After breaking up with Beck, she goes through a really different period for her character where she doesn't always have the upper hand in the conversation. Example A would be her inviting herself along to Kat's plans without admitting that she had nothing else to do. And then in season four, she's actually able to understand Beck and let him go in opposite date. First, she's extremely jealous, which is absolutely typical for her, but when she gets there, I love that she isn't angry like she expects. She's fine with it. And the ending of the kind of toxicity that they always felt towards each other, while still retaining her core personality, is why her getting back with Beck is actually a really nice resolution. They both grew without each other, to the point where they were able to find each other again. That can happen. I fully believe that that can be a healthy thing for people to do, especially if they've worked on themselves without a relationship. Plus, near the ends of season three and four, you can definitely just see her growth. I mean, from all the bonding sessions she has with Tori and Kat, even though she claims not to be friends with them, 
She definitely is. I mean, from stage fighting where she faked an injury just to hurt Tori's reputation, to the last season where a lot of storylines are with Tori. Something to consider, definitely. They consider her a friend, and especially in the episode Tori Goes Platinum, I love that Jade and Tori's relationship is actually just cemented as a friendship and Jade will even say it out loud, even though she still makes a joke afterwards, because she's still Jade. I can't do that to a friend. Or even to you. And then exhibit D would be talent. Jade's singing voice. Oh my god, it's so, so full, it's so shocking to me that Liz Gillies does not make music. She should absolutely give it a go because her voice works with every song they do. I loved her in Freak the Freak Out. Her and Kat's song, Give It Up, is fucking legendary. There's a reason people hype it up, and it's because for this show to produce a song with that much energy, it's unreal. And it's because of those two performers that sing it. Additionally, I love her song, I said this last episode, with Tori as well. Take a Hint is an amazing song that I would never expect to hear from this show. It was a wonderful addition to their repertoire. Plus, she shows herself to be a talented stage performer and actress in episodes like Sleepover at Psychowitz's, where she gives a performance that is insanely difficult for her character. Hers is the only one that is just a total opposite of her core personality, and we have Tori to thank for that. She makes it super far, though, and only breaks character after she voluntarily leaves the room after an injury. I admire the dedication so much, even though she loses her temper anyway. And if I were Tori, by the way, I'd be scared for my life after this night. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Who's your favorite character in Victorious? And if you enjoyed, consider supporting us on Patreon. You get these videos way earlier than on YouTube. You get full reactions, so you can see our whole, whole, whole thing. <laughs> these outros are always terrible. It's because I don't write them down. <laughs> um, and you get to choose whatever you see on the channel. So if you want to see more Victorious videos, request in the comments still. But um, support us on Patreon, and you can get those, like, Lickety split. Um, but I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.